all this filament, an empty printer, let's print something. It's Filament Friday. This week's Filament Friday suggestion comes from subscriber Wilson Rotschafer. It's a one-piece, one-handed guitar capo from Thingiverse user Lobo CNC. Several commenters at Thingiverse said this wouldn't work in ABS. Let's see if they're right. I decided to print two of them, one to keep and one to give away. I wanted mine just for a clip. Now I knew these need to be strong, so I printed it at 90% or solid, a 0.2 layer height, and then left everything else standard. And after slicing, they looked great. So I just verified that the settings were right, 0.2 layer height, solid density, and it was going to take four hours, just over four hours, and 24 meters of plastic. So it was time to send it to the printer. Okay, so the prints are done. Let's see how they came out. They look pretty good. I got some glue residue on the bottom, but they spring quite nicely. Yes. I'm not feeling any cracking, any breaking. are strong. Yeah, they do a good job. So whether they'd work on a guitar, I don't know because I don't play guitar and I don't have a guitar. But I just think they're great clips. I have a friend who actually plays guitar. I'll send him one of these. Let him evaluate it. But overall, my main point of this was to see how good ABS did for flexing and it's holding up well so 90 percent fill is the way to go and these you know these came out really smooth for a 0 0.2 90 percent fill even the top the top looks really really good and that the sides are pretty smooth for a 3D print. This is actually this is really good quality. This is one of the better prints I think I've gotten out of this thing. So last filament Friday I burned the bottom of the shower head and same printer and everything beautiful prints. It's not a perfect science that's for sure. So there you go. Guitar clip, edge clip, how, whatever you want to hold. Just in case you missed it, my book is released. It's on Kickstarter right now, so you can get a pre-release copy if you support my Kickstarter. Beginner's Guide to 3D Printing. Something else I didn't mention in previous videos is my 3D prints made it to the cover of Nuts and Volts magazine. I have a column in this magazine every other month where I feature some kind of tool or bench type item that the electronics hobbyists would use by 3D printing it. So made the cover. That was kind of cool. So that's it. That's it for Filament Friday this week. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. See you next time.